The HPI Healthy Weight Range Kit is designed for calculating the client's fat-free mass, skeletal weight, body fat percentage, and healthy weight range. These calculations take into account the unique body frame of each client. The Healthy Weight Range Kit includes a digital caliper and the HPI Healthy Weight Range software. The digital caliper provides an accurate, fast, and safe way to measure the client's wrist and knee joints. This is an easy and non-evasive way to obtain information about the client's body composition. These measurements create the basis for calculating the client's fat-free mass, skeletal weight, body fat percentage, and healthy weight range. Use the slider screw to adjust the tension of the sliding scale. The caliper's arms must be able to slide easily without being too loose or too tight. Push the on-off zero key to turn on the unit. To set the unit to zero, close the two jaws by bringing their tips tightly together and press the on-off zero key once. The display should then read 0.0. .0. To set the measurement units, press the millimeter inch fraction key repeatedly until the millimeter sign appears on the upper left hand corner of the display. In order to correctly perform the calculations, the measurement dimensions must be displayed in millimeters. When measuring the diameter of the wrist, both you and your client must be sitting directly across from one another. Ask the client to put their hands on their knees so that their hands will remain steady. Use your index fingers to find the widest bony part of the client's wrist. This is usually located on the outer edges of the radius and the ulna bones. Remember that the rounded edges of these bones are typically the widest part of the wrist. Position the tip of the caliper at the apex of the bone edges. Support the caliper tips with your index fingers in order to prevent the caliper from sliding off the edge of the bones. Be careful to measure the bone only and not add the soft tissue that covers the bone. In order to do this, you must apply enough pressure on the caliper tips to obtain an accurate measurement while paying close attention not to hurt or bruise the client. Read the skeletal caliper display and record the results in the provided software. Measure both the right and the left wrist. If one of the joints is different from the other, Due to an accident or surgery, measure only the unaffected joint. Use this measurement for both the right and the left wrist diameters in your calculation. To measure the diameter of the knees, the client must be sitting in a chair with their knees at a 90 degree angle with both their feet flat on the floor. Use your index fingers to find the widest bony part of the client's knees. This is typically located on the widest edge of the femur bone. Sometimes it's easier to find the edge of the knee joint if you ask the client to swing their lower leg back and forth. However, during the actual measurement, the knee must remain still. Position the tip of the caliper at the apex of the bone edges. Support the caliper tips with your index fingers in order to prevent the caliper from sliding off the edge of the bone. Read the caliper display and record the results in the provided software. Measure both right and left knee joints. If one of the joints is different from the other due to accident or surgery, measure only the unaffected joint. Use this measurement for both the right and the left knee diameters in your calculation. If you cannot accurately measure a client's knees due to excess tissue surrounding the bones, use the option wrist only from the provided software. This will allow you to do the calculations taking in consideration the wrist diameters only.